For this project, you're going to need a size um, I, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. It's a worsted away acrylic, but any. And then I'm. Yeah, you're gonna need um, a belt that I'm gonna use later for the handle. Um, I just picked this belt up at the resale shop for like 50 cents. So, okay, to get started. You're going to need to start with a slip knot. And you want to start with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And you want to slip stitch in the first to form a ring. Like that. Now we want to do a chain three, and that's going to count as a double crochet. And we're going to need a total of ten double crochets through the center. So counting this chain three, that counts as one. So we need to go back and through and do nine more double crochets through the center. Eight, nine, and here's ten counting that chain three that we did. Okay. Now, usually, if you pull your tail, you can make your circle a little smaller. Okay, we're not going to uh, close this circle up. What we're going to do is we're just going to chain three. and turn our work and now we're going to do two double crochets in every stitch around and this is going to be our first one so we want to go back, back into this first stitch and do another one so that'll be like count as having two double crochets in that stitch and then you just want to work across doing two double crochets in each stitch And you want to make sure that you do the, go put two double crochets in the uh, chain three right here. Because that's going to count as a stitch. You want to make sure that you do that one every time. So right at the top of it. Otherwise it's not going to turn out right. It will be kind of lopsided and stuff. Now what we want to do is chain three again and turn our work two, three. Now this time around um, we're going to do, whenever I put two double crochets in one stitch, that's an increased stitch. So I'm going to call it an increased stitch from now on. So the pattern is going to be, this is going to be our first double crochet, our chain three. And then we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do an increase where we're going to put two double crochets into the next one. And then the next stitch is just going to be one double crochet. And then the next one is going to be an increase. It's going to have two double crochets. 
and the next one will be one double crochet and then the next one is going to be our increase two double crochets in the same stitch and we just want to repeat that pattern until we get back to the beginning okay I'm coming here to the end and I don't want to forget the chain three and if you did your um, increases right you should always end every row with an increase so your last row last stitch the chain three stitch should always have two double crochets in it so this is the same thing as like increasing a circle except for we just didn't close it off we're working back and forth we're not going around and around so now we want to chain three again and turn our work that chain three counts as our first double crochet this time around we want to put two double crochets in between each increase so this is going to be our first one and we want to go into the next stitch and do another one and then the next stitch is going to be our increase stitch where we put two double crochets in the same stitch and now we want to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so two double crochets in a row and then the next stitch is going to be our increase stitch two double crochets in the same stitch one double crochet in each of the next two stitches one two and then the next stitch is going to be our increase stitch where we put two double crochets in the same stitch and we just want to repeat that pattern back to the beginning okay I'm coming back around here and my last stitch right here is going to be an increase it's going to have two in that stitch that means I counted right which is a surprise I usually never do <laughs> okay now we just want to chain three again and turn our work now this time is going to be three double crochets in between each increase so this chain three counts as our first one and then we want to do one in the next one in the next and then our increase two double crochets in the same stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches oh. one two three and then an increase so we just want to repeat this pattern back to the beginning or the other side okay I'm coming back around again and I just did my two my increase in that last stitch now I want to chain three and turn this time around is going to be four double crochets in between each increase this is going to count as my first one so that's two three and four and then I want to do my increase two doubles in the same stitch and then I'll do one double crochet in each of the next four stitches one two three four and then my increase into the next so this is how the pattern is going to go from now on I'm doing four double crochets in between each stitch until I get back over to here the next round will be five double crochets in between each stitch and the next row will be six double crochets in between each stitch and seven and so so on and then you need to have a um, make a piece um, it's nine rows counting the very first center one one two, nine so nine rows total and of course you can make yours bigger or smaller if you want you just want to make sure that you have um, you're gonna need a if you're using the belt for the handle you're gonna need a pretty long belt so just remember the bigger you make it the longer of a belt that you're gonna need but just keep going until you get two pieces you need two pieces of the exact same and they need to be nine rows each so I'm going to go ahead and get um, this one finished up and then we'll start making the um, outside edge. So my piece is made and I'm going to set them to the side for now. 
um, but you should probably count your stitches and you need to have a total of 90 stitches around making it my size and I'm just gonna I'm gonna make um, a flap for the side so I can weave the belt in and out of it to make it like that a handle but we were gonna weave it so I'm gonna start with a slip knot And I'm going to do a chain. Now the chain is going to be how thick you want that, um, this middle of your bag to be. Um, it also probably just depends on the size of belt you're using. If you have a really, really thick belt, you'll have to do more. But mine's not that thick. So I'm going to do a chain of... Eight. And then I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and then I'm going to single crochet and every stitch across. Like that. And that counts as our first row. So you want to chain one and turn, single crochet, and every stitch across again. That's two rows. Chain one and turn single crochet and every stitch across again and that is our third row chain one and turn single crochet across and every stitch again And that's going to be four rows. And this is going to be what a repeat pattern now. Do four rows of single crochet. Now we need to make a slit so we can weave the belt through. So we're going to chain one and turn. And now this chain one is counting as a, a first or a first single crochet. Now I'm going to skip the next five and single crochet into the last stitch. But in place of the five, I'm going to do a chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to skip these five. And then I'm going to single crochet into the last stitch. Like that. Now we need to chain one and turn. Now we need to go along and single crochet in every stitch. And we need to single crochet in the stitches of the chain. And then the last stitch over here. Like that. Chain one and turn. That counts as our first row. So we need to do a total of four rows again. And then we do another slit. That's two rows, chain one turn, three rows, chain one turn,
and that's my fourth row. So I want to chain one and turn, and I want to make that little slit again for my bolt to go through. So I want to skip five chain or skip these five stitches and do a chain five. We do the chain one and turn, and then we do another chain five. Five, skip five stitches, and single crochet in the last. Chain one and turn. Now we need to single crochet across again, making sure we do one in each of the stitches on the chain. And that counts as our first row, so we need to do have a total of four, and then we're going to make another slip. Okay, this is what I got so far on the strap part for the side. I did four rows, and this slit is my is my fifth. Four more rows, this slit would be my tenth. So, with the slit, it's in multiples of five. So, four and one, that's five stitches. And this one's going to be 10, 15, 20, 25, and I just did four more, and I'm going to go ahead and do a chain one and turn, and I'm going to chain five again, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to single crochet into the last one, like that. So that slit makes 30 stitches. So remember, we got to show you again. This is four. The slit makes five. Four more. The slit makes ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. That makes sense to you. I hope it does. Because we did four rows in between each of the slits. So counting the slit, I did it in multiples of five. That way it's going to turn out okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to put no slits down the bottom part of the bag. If you want to continue doing slits, you can. Just keep doing it the way you've been doing it. I'm not going to. What I'm going to do now is chain one and turn. I'm going to do 30 rows of just plain single crochet rows. And I'm just going to go across this chain, just like we did before, single crocheting. like that and I'm going to chain one that counts as my first row and turn and now I'm going to do I'm just going to keep doing rows I'm not going to put no slits until I get around to the other side so I'm not slitting on the bottom but like I said if you want to you can keep putting slits just do it in the multiples of five like, I, like we've been doing and it will turn out okay but if you want to do it like I'm doing it I'm going to do 30 rows of single crochet, there's my second one, chain one and turn, and then I'm going to start doing the slits again. So I'm going to go ahead and do my 30 rows, which is going to be on the bottom part of the bag when we sew it together. So that's my third row, chain one and turn, and I'm just going to keep going until I have 30. Turn. Okay, I just did my 30 rows of regular single crochet. Now I'm going to start making the slits again. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to do a chain of five, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the last one. Chain one and turn. And then I need to single crochet across, including the stitches of the chain. Like 
that. And that counts as my first row. I remember I need to do a total of four and then do another slit. So I chain one and turn. Chain one and turn, that's two. Oops. Chain one and turn. It's three rows, I need to do one more for my four rows. Do another slip so I want to chain one and turn and do a chain of five and stretch it over and single crochet into the last stitch and there's my other slit and now I'm just going to repeat keep going four rows and then another slip until I get the same amount on this side as I have over here so you should have a total of five slits and then four rows to end it out. Okay, I finished my strap. Five slits on this side and five on this side. Thirty rows in the middle, unless of course you just kept putting slits on it. That was up to you. Now we're just going to sew it on and I'm going to sew it on using um, single crochet. So you want to start with a slip knot. And you need to sew it on on this side. And then you gotta bring it and sew it on, on this side. So I'm just gonna start with one piece. And I'm just gonna start it right up here at the top. And I'm gonna go down this entire side all the way around, sewing it with single crochet. And there should be 90 rows total on this, you did it like me, to match the 90 stitches that are around this big circle. So you just want to start in the first stitch on this piece, which is the top of the chain 3 here. And then the first stitch on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull through that slip knot that's on my hook to start out with. Just going to go ahead and pull through that slip knot like that. Now I want to go back in that same stitch and do a single crochet. The same stitch I just went into. single crochet. Now I'm just going to go along. I'm going to go in the next stitch here and the next stitch on this piece and single crochet. The next stitch on this and the next stitch on this piece single crochet. And that's so that's three single crochets I did. There's the fourth one and the fourth one over here on this one. Single crochet. And remember we did it multiple multiples of five, so it'll, it'll match up right at the fifth one. Every multiple of five ends on a slit. So go into the stitch and then that one top one on the slit and single crochet. And you want to do that with this whole entire piece all the way around on this one side and then we'll do the other side too so I'm going to work my way down single crochet in this piece together Now 
Wow. Just like that. So I'm going to keep going around with this piece until I get it sewed on. Okay, I just got my first strip single crocheted on. And now what I want to do, I just want to clean this area up right here. This, and I want to go and single crochet in every stitch down here to here. And then I'll be back at my beginning where I started. So. I just did the last stitch there, so I'm just going to move it to the side and now I'm just going to be working on this piece only. And what I'm going to do is just one single crochet in every stitch. Just to clean it up a little bit. And you're not going to be able to see the stitches real well because they're going to be on the sides of the double crochets or they're going to be chain threes. So just do the best you can to evenly space out your stitches. So I'm just going to do that all the way down here and then back up here to my beginning. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet I made so in this side on. And then I'm going to take my other side and I'm going to start sewing it on the exact same way. And then I'm going to go down the, the middle of that too. Okay, I got both of my pieces sewed on. And I went down the front to both sides. One more thing I want to do before I put the belt on it is I'm going to go around again with one single crochet in each stitch and I'm just going to continue and go around the sides too and down the back and then around this side and then finish that way it'll tie in the sides a little bit better so I'm just gonna start right up here in the corner and go through that slip knot on my hook and I'm gonna go back into the same stitch single crochet and now I'm going to single crochet one in each stitch all the way down just like this I'm just going to continue. Okay, I went <clears throat> single crochet here <clears throat> and back up. And I'm just going to keep going around the side here. I'm just going to continue around like that. Doing one single crochet in each stitch. And then back around to the other side. Oops. There we go. That makes it look a little bit smoother through there. And I'm just going to finish it off by going down here again and back up with single crochet back around this side and then I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet that I did and I'll tie off. Finished that and I went ahead and weaved my belt down the sides in and out like that to make my handle 
And I do want to show you something. If you made it where it weaves in and out all the way around, that's fine. But if you didn't and you did it like mine, I'm going to just take a piece of yarn and do a couple stitches from the inside around the belt in a couple different spots just to hold it there in place. But if you did it this way all the way around, you won't have to worry about that. I knew I was going to have to do that, but I thought it looked neat where how it broke off the bottom and then started back up. And I knew I would have to put a few stitches on the belt. And that's fine. Um, one other thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to put a strap in the buckle. I got this buckle off an old belt. And this is optional. You don't have to do that. And I apologize. It's always so messy up here. I know. Okay. I'm just going to start back here. I'm going to make a strap to where it folds over to the other side. And let's see. Okay, I want to start. Here, I have my center center stitch that I put in the little center here. So I'm going to make it five um, stitches wide. And since it goes out of V here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start two stitches from the center. So not not the center, not the next one, but the one next to it. And I'm going to pull through that stitch on my hook. I'm going to go into this stitch and do a single crochet, the same one. The next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. And the next stitch, which is going to be the one that I, is at the pointiest part of my bag, I'm going to do a half double in that one to kind of even it out. And then I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch and one into the next, just like that. That kind of made, made it a little bit straighter across doing that half double right there at the point. Now I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to go across and I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm just going to keep doing one rounds of single crochet. And I'm going to chain one and turn. Um, just uh, single rows of single crochet. One in every stitch until I get the strap as long as I want it. And you can do yours however long you want it, if you want to put a strap on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew that belt buckle on the front so the strap will work for it. My buckle sewed on, my strap made to however long I wanted it. And that is it. That's all I'm going to do to this bag. And I hope you enjoy my tutorial. I think it's going to look real good once it gets um, carried around with stuff in it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and you can check out my Facebook page too. Uh, don't forget to check out my all my other tutorials. And until next time, I have a nice day.